<laughs> now, we all like to do that. Our dogs treats every now and then. It's hard to resist, isn't it? Look at those eyes. Stop it. But they're not always the best for them. So coming up, some delicious doggy treats that are. Mm. No, sorry. This is bad for you. Mmm. Now it's time for the Great British Bark Off. RSPCA Bath can have up to 100 pooches waiting for new homes at any one time. And to give them the best chances, it's important that they're all looking in tip-top condition. Hello. So they've invited celebrity chef Leslie Waters down to devise some delicious, yet nutritious treats for these charming chaps. I love dogs and my family have got lots of dogs and we love cooking up some delicious recipes for them. So today I've come to cook up some well-balanced treats and put the dogs here in good stead so that they can be rehomed. Well, just to make sure her recipes are up to scratch. Hi there. Hello. We have three discerning judges. Oleg, who loves a sausage, image conscious Sinise, and Benji was all about the flavours. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. Leslie is tailoring three recipes to suit each of the dog's individual needs. First up, Benji, a 16-month-old mischievous lurcher. He needs more training before he can be rehomed. So Leslie has a rewarding recipe for him. I'm going to make some fruit and vegetable strips, which are great sort of training treats. And these ones are good for their health too. But don't give them too many. These sort of things are quite expensive to buy and they're really easy to make. Leslie starts with a baked sweet potato. Just scrape it out and put it in like that. You can then take your banana and I'm just going to mudge that banana in there. Take a potato smasher and then just work this in the bowl. Adding fruit and veg to your dog's diet is great for them because just like with us, those vitamins help boost their immune system. You got that, Benji? You can then get in the rest of your ingredients. Leslie adds grated apple and carrot along with rolled oats and whole wheat flour. Mix it together and I'm just going to crack that egg in like that. Nice bit of protein going in there. In goes the egg. Like that. And a dash of water and it's all mixed together. Oh, it smells good. Do you think they're getting hungry? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the big tip here is not to press too hard when you roll. You can cut them into any size you want. Benji over there is a bigger dog, so you, you can make them larger or medium size for Oleg. Who are you calling medium size? <laughs> oh, I better get a move on. <laughs> So these are going to go into the oven. These little ones will cook a lot quicker. These ones here, these bigger ones, about 25 minutes. That's too long for Benji. So here's some we prepared earlier. But will they work as a training treat? You have this one? With all that fruit and veg, Benji might think Leslie's taking the biscuit. See? Oh, no. Mm, no I'm, I'm definitely getting apple and banana. I think he likes them. <laughs> They seem to have tantalised Benji's taste buds. He'll be a well-behaved doggy in no time. Look in his lips. Good sign. Mm, yeah. On to the next recipe. This one's especially for you, Oleg. When he first came in, he was malnourished, so he needs bulking up. What you got for me, Les? I'm working on my guns. So, this next recipe is chicken jerky, which is packed full of protein, which is really good for muscle fibre, do you think Oleg's going to like these? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching very intently. There's only one ingredient. Sausages. No, Oleg, not sausages. These slices of chicken are going to cook for about two hours. You should want to make them really dry and chewy. Which is great for strengthening your dog's teeth. It doesn't really get much easier than this. And when they're ready... They should look like this. Hmm, delicious. You can see 
how they've gone. They're really dry, brittle. That's what you want. Should we give it a try? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, big piece. Really big piece. <laughs> Look at the concentration on that face. Come down a treat. You'll be doing chin-ups in no time, Oleg. <laughs> Hang on, I'm missing a treat. So the next recipe is peanut butter cookies. Now we're talking, but these cookies have a secret ingredient. Chicken. No, Oleg, it's fish oils. Which is good for their lovely shiny coats and their skin. But be careful, just like us, dogs can be allergic to peanuts. Sinise, a Jack Russell, has a flea allergy which has left her fur a bit patchy, so these will be perfect for her. First thing you want to do is get a big mixing bowl, like that. Leslie adds the fish oil, peanut butter and honey to the wheat flour and rolled oats. Mix that through. The really good thing about this recipe is it makes loads, and they will keep in an airtight tin for a couple of weeks. Not if I can reach them. Cut the treats into whatever shape your dog fancies, and then bung them in the oven. They look great, don't they? Oh, is up. Time to try, Sinise. Oh, she's definitely keen. Mm -hmm. All those fish oils will have you looking stunning, Sinise. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's been a barking success. For all the recipes and allergy info, go to channel5.com forward slash dog rescuers. Right, here goes. Mmm. I'm not sure about the fish oil. Is it? Dogs will eat anything, basically. You've got to drink. Mm -hmm.